Hey guys, Kyle here, ClassforDespairs.com, and today we're going to be working on a new BSA fork bushing set. I sold this set to a customer in Hawaii, and he stated to me that the OD is about 2 thousandths too big to fit in his fork leg. So, lo and behold, that is true. The manufacturer accidentally made the OD slightly larger. So I had the customer send them back, and we're going to make a custom mandrel so we can hold each bushing to turn the OD down. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, feel free to stick around on how we fit these fork bushings for our customer. First things first, I was able to get a BSA workshop manual off the website, and fortunately, they show the outside diameter on both top and bottom fork bushings, so this will be very handy. All right, let's get to work and do some machine work. So we're gonna start off with some 6061 round stock aluminum. The diameter is about inch and a half, and what I'm doing here is I'm turning the OD down. Now this aluminum round stock was scrap, and I think I was using it for a mandrel before, so I did not have to turn and cut any threads fortunately. So I'm cutting the depth properly to accept the short and long fork bushing. All right, so I have the fork bushing in place. This is the short variation that has the shoulder. You can notice that I have a thick washer and nut in place. So we're just using the caliper there to measure the OD. I use magic marker on the full width of the bushing. So when we're turning the bushing, it's definitely going to help us identify how much material has been removed. And it'll also help us identify how much runout we have on the bushing. So right here, I'm probably taking a final pass, which was about two to two and a half thousandths that I removed from the outside diameter. Usually for very final passes, I will use an aluminum insert, which is a very small radius and very sharp. Doing some more OD turning, and you can clearly see that beautiful finish coming from the aluminum insert that I'm using. There's a little area there that hasn't touched off or hasn't removed the material. So what we'll end up doing is we'll go back in and we'll do another pass and then we'll check our work just to make sure that we're not moving any uh, additional material that doesn't need to be removed. Now that we got the short bushings out of the way, we're gonna start working on the bottom bushings which happen to be wider. We have our washer and nut to retain the bushing on the mandrel. I took great care in not over tightening the nut to, to not distort the bushing. So we're gonna use magic marker there. We're gonna cover up the entire width of the bushing. As I stated earlier, it definitely helps us uh, identify uh, material removal and how much material is actually coming off of the bushing and what we need to focus on. Right here, we're doing our final OD pass. As you can clearly see, it's starting to clean up really nice. All right, so there you have it. All four fork bushings have been turned. Everything came out really nice and the finish is phenomenal. So we're gonna get these fork bushings packaged up and we're gonna send them back to the customer so he can get them back in his fork legs and get back on the road. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me at classbirdespares.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And you can also check us out on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all your support. I hope you guys have a great day.